So for Oklahoma City right now, Kevin Love out there with Durant. Then it's Zeller. Then there's Victor Oladipo. And it's Hill in the one spot. And their solid play in the paint continues, guys. Well, that's been the focus, Clark, as we watched. I mean, they created one chance after another inside. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Foy, the best, the scope. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. In low to Hill. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Verajan. Vasquez with it. Guarded now by Durant. Feeds to Vasquez. He dishes it to Ford. Kicks it to Scola. Here's Vasquez. Left alive by Atlanta. The feet to Ford. Here's Scola. That falls. Great assist by Vasquez. And the Hawks lead by 17. That was some skill there. Nice use of the bounce pass. And Zeller kicks to Love. Hill dishes to Durant. Fires from the corner. The shot no good. Well, he's building the house with those bricks. I mean, one reason is he keeps trying to force it up when he's defended well. Move the ball. Share the sugar. And Voigt kicks to Verizhao. Over in the corner, Voigt. Vasquez passes to Kira. Here's Scola. And again, it's Atlanta. Under trailing by 19. Zeller setting the pick for Hill. It's Oladipo on the wing. Up again, score. Shot from 12. That is good. Love's got five now. Smart move with that mismatch he's got. You know what? That extra advantage sure pays off on the mid-range jumper. Skola with it. He's picked up by Hill. Lock at six. And it's Foy missing. For Oklahoma City, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. You have to give the Hawks a lot of credit for what they did last season. They knew they were going to lose some players and have to hit the reset button and recalibrate a bit, but they did so uh, quite smoothly. There's the dish to Kira. Wants to get it to Verizhao and does. From downtown, it's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Love's got his third rebound on the night. Love with the screen for Durant. Atlanta with the rebound. Verizhao's got his fifth rebound in this one. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boys. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. And he drops it in from the low post. And the Hawks lead by 16. That's how to orchestrate for your team. Terrific pass. Here's Hill. It's Durant on the way. Zeller setting the pick for Hill. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Shot's good by Durant. Very well executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. Vasquez kicks to four. Vicious to Kira. He feeds it to Scola. Passes it to Kira. It's Foy, it's out the key. They get it again. He kicks to Kira. Off target from three-point range. Thunder trailing by 14. And here we go. And finished off by Oladipo. Yeah, he put himself in great position to finish that break off, guys. Yep, right to the rack. 
Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Well, Kevin, the Atlanta Hawks, a team that looks to spread the floor with shooting. Coach Mike Budenholzer said, we don't want to just be a three-point shooting team. We want to get to the rim first. By creating that space, we give our guards and our bigs a chance to attack. If the paint is taken away, we'll look for our shooters. Good strategy, Kevin. Coach Bud coming from San Antonio, Doris. The Hawks trying to create that same kind of space. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Parajan. Randolph comes in for Luis Norton. Jared Dudley's checked in for Randy Ford. And it's Teagan for Vasquez. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Tabo Cephalosha has checked in for Kevin Durant. Here's Zeller. Makes it off the glass. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Well, I think he's really willing his team on now. He's carrying it. He's doing it all. He's yet to miss a shot. T dishes to Carroll. Back to T. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. The three. And Oladipo pulls it down. Thunder trailing by ten. Left side, low. Again, Oklahoma City. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Outside T. Pass to Dudley. Shot to end this full run. That's good, and so T with the assist. I'm not sure who was supposed to pick him up, but somebody's going to get an earful from the coach for leaving him that wide open. The three from Hill. Oladipo for three. Jeff Teague signed a four-year, $32 million deal with the Hawks going into last season, and with the departures of some of their other star players, they decided to put the ball in his hands to run their more free-flowing offense, and he delivered in a great way. Ronnie Brewers checked in for the Hawks. And then for Oklahoma City, Dallin Bear comes in for Tyler Zeller. And it's Williams in for Kevin Love. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Oladipo misses. And Jeff Teague shooting percentages, Steve, falling quite a bit last season. Yeah, but he compensated by getting to the free throw line about twice as often. You know, and that's part of expanding your game. You're going to see some improvement in some areas and maybe progression in others. But he's got to just continue to work. He, he has a chance to be an excellent point guard in this league. Well, it's kind of been the story here today, hasn't it, Clark? They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones. A long time without a basket. they got to find something to write. And he gets it to go. Boy, they are just destroying them in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. Over to the wing. On its way from Dudley for two. That's good, and so Teague with the assist. Teague's got four assists in the game. And the pass to Oladipo. Outside Hill. Now here's Teague. He's got 11. Pass to Dudley. And Brewer kicks to Teague. Outside Randolph. And the shot counts. He's fouled and it's a chance for a three-point play. And you love the concentration. It gets hit, but stays with the play. Yeah, he showed a lot right there. Plenty of concentration finding a way to get that shot to fall. Samuel Dallenbear, a 6'11 shot blocker and rebounder. His numbers are solid, but he seems to have a way of wearing out his welcome with coaches. You notice he's played for five teams in the last five seasons. Shots good by Durant. The Atlanta leads by 12. Teague gets the Brewer. 
Back to T. Adams right side. It's stolen by D'Alembert. Durant with a wide open look. And the call will be against Jeff T. That is his first foul of the game. And the Hawks making a change here. Abarani's checked in. Here's Rignauer. Rejected by Randall. T kicks it up. Back to T. Dudley the best to Randall. Converts on the jumper for the easy two. Randall's got 12. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. D'Alembert with a screen on Teague. Hidenauer kicks to Durant. D'Alembert sets a screen for Durant. Shot clock at five. A fadeaway. And that one's good. Durant's got seven now in this quarter. I love it when a player like this shakes off a poor first half and comes back strong like he has, showing a lot of confidence in his game. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Well, supposedly, Kevin Durant, a.k.a. KD, enjoys playing NBA 2K prior to every game as a way to loosen up and kind of as an informal scouting report for the other team. That guy just soaks up all the basketball he can get. Keep listening, KD, and keep playing. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Randy Foy, he's checked in for Dudley. And it's Vasquez he's in for T. Offensively, he can be the engine that drives them at any given time. The Hawks leading by 10. And Kevin Durant, guys, officially listen, I'm looking at my book here at 6'9". I imagine he's that height in, in video game form. <laughs> Steve, you think that's selling him short? Yeah, maybe. Uh, you know, it's interesting. A lot of guys who are 6'11 or 7 feet prefer to, to actually be listed as smaller. I think it's because, in Durant's case, he wants to be known as more of a guard than a forward. But regardless, it, it doesn't matter what they list him at. He's just a ridiculously talented player. Not what they drew up, but they'll take the two points. The shot and game clock separated by four. And Durant gets double team. Outside Williams. Back to Durant. Outside Williams. Durant dishes to Rittenauer. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Atlanta with the ball. Here's Vasquez. That misses. Would have kind of had it. Atlanta leading by 12. We've got Ronnie Brewer. Foyle is up there with Matthew Delavido. Then it's Scola, and it's Verizhao in at the five spot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Shot clock at six. Brewer, the pass to Delavido. Misses the wing jet. Thunder trailing by 12. Anderson with the ball. Outside Durant. Kicks it out to Love. Out to the right wing. It's Anderson with the drive. Up high and down hard with the one hand. Got a little extra force for that one, didn't he? Yes, you know, sir. I think he's hoping to kind of get his teammates going a little bit, fellas. Feeds it to Scola. And the rejection by Love. The wide open look for Durant. They grab their own miss. From deep three point range, Midnauer kicks to Love. 
to the paint. 